The new Mosquito Bomber, twin-engined, long-range, and made of wood. Officials of the de Havilland plant in Ottawa display the revolutionary construction and material of the new plane. The fuselage is made of two skins of plywood with an insulation of softer wood between. Answering the controversy of wood versus aluminum, in some cases the Mosquito has proved less vulnerable to gunfire than metal machines. The wings are formed of large sheets of supple wood, light, strong, and easily molded. The result is a high-speed reconnaissance bomber. Pictured for the first time, the Mosquito is wheeled from the hangar for a trial run. This new weapon is being built by the de Havilland Company as a result of a bottleneck in light metal material. Its engines are being made in American factories from English design. Unique in construction as well as material, the Mosquito is assembled in two pieces. The halves are then joined to make the body complete. This plane requires half the man hours needed for a similar plane of metal. It mounts four cannon and four machine guns. Test pilot de Havilland sets his controls ready for the takeoff. The Mosquito taxis down the field, picks up speed, and lifts from the ground like a chip in the wind. Viewed from the nose of the plane, the airport beneath is a fast disappearing streak. Its speed and climbing power are military secrets, but has been known to outdistance the Fox Wolf 190, indicating a maximum speed of 430 miles per hour. Slicing vapor trails with its wooden wingtip, the bomber does a slow loop. To a look off a rear gunner, its striking power is more like a timber wolf than a mosquito. With one motor cut, it can stunt like a fighter, maintaining perfect balance and efficiency of speed. In actual combat and attack, the mosquito has upheld the excellence of its trial run. A bomber made of wood has proved its metal.